Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we're going to be filming a YouTube video on how to get your ponies from the woolly mammoths, like Alf is quite now, <laughs> to the sleek show pony. So at the moment Alf's molten like mad, which is absolutely horrendous for myself as I'm actually allergic to horse hair, which isn't ideal, especially when you've got 13 pets. So I'm full of allergy tablets at the moment, aren't we? Trying to resist the urge to sneeze. So I thought this would be a good YouTube video, um, as I've been thinking about it recently. Um, obviously with having an allergy I've been thinking of easy ways to get Alfie to mull and kind of speed up the process to make him more comfortable as the weather's been really hot this weekend, which has been amazing because we've been sunbathing haven't we Alf? Um, so yeah, so to make him more comfortable as well when the weather is hot. So we've put together some tips, um, we'll also be in a blog post on this um, which we will link back to the video so you'll be able to read about it as well as watch the video. So there's a few things you can do to help the transition um, and one is good old fashioned elbow grease as I say in the olden days. Um, so obviously we've got all these different horse brushes you might be aware um, and we've got the ones that are harder and um, get the hair off looser so I use the curry comb. Um, there I guess this has got the harder bristles um, and I use this all over Alfie uh, just to get his loose hair off him. So I start at the top of the hair and I work my way back down um, and follow the motion of his coat so <laughs> he quite likes that you can see. He loves being groomed especially when he's losing his hair. Um, there's also other things like metal blades you can use for horses uh, which some people do use but I choose not to use them just because Alfie's got a little bit of sensitive skin um, as well so I try to keep it really comfortable for him um, and it's also really important that you only brush over the areas which aren't sensitive to your horse so I wouldn't go brushing your hard bristles over any of the bone parts such as the knees um, as this could make your horse really uncomfortable. He's trying to groom me now, look. He does being groomed, don't you? So that's one of the methods. Just use good old fashioned elbow grease and brush your horse as often as possible to get the loose hair off them. Some people also say that if you brush the other way, so the way that the hair's not going, it will loosen the hair. Uh, personally, I choose not to do this because I quite like half his hair to lay flat. There we go, give you a little brush, shall we? Good boy. Some people also use grooming gloves. Um, I don't actually have a set of these, but some you can get grooming gloves which are quite hard um, and you can get the hair off really easy. Another thing which we've been doing recently, um, and it's actually really important, is um, make sure that your worming program is up to date, as this gets rid of any of the pesticides um, and this can actually impact on when your horse loses hair. Um, so we've actually got a box here to show you. So this is our bees wormer which you can get from your local agricultural stars so he got wormed this week didn't you Alfie um, and usually horses are wormed twice a year just to make sure they're okay healthy but yeah. another thing to bear in mind is since the daylight does impact on the shedding of your horse's coat which some people don't actually know and um, so actually when <laughs> healthy when the nights do get lighter um, this will mean that your horse knows or body knows to shed its coat um, so make sure that your horse is out as much as he can be in the light um, and this actually impacts on his shedding his coat his body will think right it's getting lighter it's time to start shedding and this is what Alf is doing you see his hair's coming out now it's got hair yes so some other tips are consider adding oil to your horse's coat um, so we do yes we use cod liver oil um, and Alfie gets this on his feed every night. Um, it's actually been scientifically proven that this can help your horse when shedding and it also gives your horse a nice shiny coat. Um, it says on the front, the traditional oil choice for general health and coat shine for horses and ponies. So Alf gets this, do you want to have a look at it? You can't itch on it. Oh boy. Then people will also use oil on the horse's coat. I don't do this, um, but I have seen it done online where people will put oil all over the horse's coat, leave it for a night and then brush it off the next day. It just helps get rid of any um, loose hair. But what you would have to do is oil the coat all over, leave it overnight to set, a little bit like you would with dry shampoo or conditioner. Um, and then what you do is you brush and wash them the next day so it get any of the dry hair off your horse. Some people also use clippers, um, I don't use clippers for Alfie or any of my horses, I kind of let them um, molt naturally but if it is really sunny and your horse is getting a lot of exercise and he's woolly, he's got a woolly coat, I would recommend clipping him maybe around the areas such as girth, his ears um, and any other areas that it gets a little bit hot, um, this just makes him more comfortable throughout the summer months. Exercising your horse will also help get rid of the loose hair off his body, so if he's going out for an exercise, um, it 
just helps loosen the core, it helps circulation, um, and his body will be taking <laughs> Alfie, <laughs> and then his body will start to shed hair. It's been so cheeky tonight. What are you doing? It's his birthday on the 1st of April, so I think we're getting a little bit excited, aren't we? That's kind of our tips for today um, and kind of how to help your horse molt. Um, there's no kind of easy or right methods, it just happens naturally if you don't use some of the tips that we've given you today. It just helps speed up the process. Um, so if you've got any questions about molting um, or if you want to send us in your molting pictures of your horse, then um, just tweet to us at Alf Little. Um, and you can find out more information about Little Alf via his website, which is www.littlealf.com. And that's it for us today. We're going to be doing another video, aren't we, for your birthday? I'm going to say bye to the camera. Say bye. Oh boy. Oh, it's made it all foggy now. I feel the camera's all foggy.